Hey everybody, Ben here, and welcome back to Medium of Mixology, the monthly web show where I teach you how to make some new and interesting cocktails. So I've been assessing a couple things that I want to do with this show. First one is to actually make the drink in front of you instead of trying to angle the camera over top of my shoulder. The second thing is I want to make the drink and try it for the first time on camera. Every other drink I've made on Medium of Mixology, I have made beforehand, so this will give you a better understanding of what my reactions to the drink will be, and maybe what your reactions to the drink will be as well. So today's drink is called the Habana Libre. Tools for today, you're going to need a bar spoon and a measuring device. I've got an angled measuring cup here. For your glass, you grab uh, what my recipe calls the house specialty glass, which is different for everybody. For me, that's the uh, Hillian Crest uh, pint. Ingredients, you're going to need a spring of fresh mint, some lime juice, some Coca-Cola, some grenadine, light rum, and Bacardi 151. So the recipe starts out with an ounce and a half of light rum. My choice is Bacardi Superior. It's a great value and it tastes just perfect. Next up, a half ounce of lime juice. Now you should use fresh ingredients when you can, but most of the time my limes are going bad, so I like to keep a bottle of one. Next up, we use a quarter ounce of grenadine. Now there are really two or three different kinds of grenadine. There is Rose's grenadine syrup, which tastes more like cherry. There's uh, this stuff, which is uh, Stirring's authentic grenadine, which is tastes the way it's supposed to, which is actually pomegranate. And then there's, uh, Joaquin's actually think, I think has an alcoholic grenadine, but uh, the alcohol in that should be relatively low. For the most part, you're looking for a cherry or pomegranate flavored uh, simple syrup. So that's a quarter ounce of grenadine. And today's recipe is really nice and simple. We're just going to build this right in the glass. No need to shake and strain at all. Next up, we're going to top this with some Coke. And you don't want to completely fill it, but you do want to get pretty close. I'm going to give this a uh, real light stir. Now my recipe calls to float three quarters of an ounce of Bacardi 151. Now in my opinion, that's a lot. Uh, I think anything more than a half an ounce is a little bit ridiculous, so I'm only going to use a half an ounce. Now if you're choosing to float something, you want to make sure the alcohol you're using is a higher proof, in which case that means it is a lower density and will sit on top. To do that, you take the back of a spoon, Take that spoon right to the edge of your liquid and pour right over top. And as you can see, the 151 rum floats right on top of the rest of the drink. Now, my recipe calls for two different garnishes, uh, both a uh, spring of mint and some fresh lime. Uh, as I said before, I don't have any fresh lime, but I do have a little bit of mint. And that is the Habana Libre. So let's try it out. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. So. <laughs> so the beginning of this you get that heavy 151 um, and coke. That's really all you're gonna get. And uh, I've had drinks like this before with the float and for, all, and for the first, I would say, quarter of this drink, uh, all you're gonna get is just 151 and coke. And by the time you reach about here, you're gonna start seeing those other flavors. It smells, it really just smells like the one, like 151 rum because it's sitting on top of everything else. That's really all you get out of the aroma. Um, I also want to employ a new rating system for this, uh, so I'm going to give this one about an 8 out of 10 uh, alcohol rating. Uh, 10 out of 10 would be doing like a shot of vodka. Um, and 
one out of ten is like where's the alcohol in that? So uh, this is I would say this is like an eight or nine right now, but as we get through the 151, I get the feeling it'll probably mellow out to like a five or a six. I feel like this might have been better in a smaller glass. I would say that uh, next time around, if I do happen to make this, but I, I probably won't. I might recommend something like a, a regular tumbler or a rocks glass. Something that isn't quite as big. This, this, this feels a little too... almost watered down, I would say. I actually just thought about trying something with this. Uh, while the mint is sort of just a garnish, I do want to take a bite of one and then try some of the drink. There is a flavor there. I think the mint could definitely be incorporated into this drink. Um, like it, instead of using the mint spring as a garnish, it might have worked uh, muddled at the bottom of the glass uh, before we even started. But you definitely get that nice flavor there. Uh, even uh, even a mix of 151 and maybe like peppermint schnapps on top, I think that would have been a really nice complement to this. So I'm just below the halfway point now. Um, uh, just kind of as I suspect, suspect this is about, is about a 5 or a 6 in the alcohol rating at, at this point. You can definitely tell that it's there, but it's not overpowering anymore. I'm starting to get a little bit of the flavor as well. But I think uh, part of this drink was uh, the glass use. Um, I think I used way too big of a glass for this. It could have been uh, much better with a uh, smaller glass and a smaller amount of coke uh, to fill that glass because I really feel that like, the coke uh, has now masked the flavors. And I'm to this point and I don't really taste any grenadine. I barely taste any lime and really I'm just getting like a rum and like really muted coke. I will say this, I'm more than happy to have a mint at the bottom of the glass. Be sure to check out the blog at mediumofmixology.wordpress.com and subscribe to the DMC Films and Central Block Studios channel here on YouTube for new drink demos the first Wednesday of every month. This has been with Medium of Mixology, and please drink responsibly.